this is 2019 amy one problem number 13 and here is a view of this problem uh, so we start with a triangle abc with side lengths four five and six let's go ahead and do that um so a b c oops that's pretty messed up actually so we have a b c uh we said four this one is a five this one is a six then we will go ahead and extend a b through b uh such that uh, AD is smaller than AE so I'll just pick two random points here so suppose this is the point D and extend it further and let's call it E and uh, next we draw the circumcircles of ACD and EBC so ACD and EBC let's draw the circles as uh, in green color so ACD probably something like this and EBC something like that okay so <laughs> obviously this is a horrible picture but yeah the, the spirit is important I would say okay let's just change this a little bit like that I would say give it more curve um, yeah so uh, it doesn't matter too much okay so there you go and we are told that the intersection of these two circles is the point F here f and the lengths df and ef are given um so probably let's use black colors so df is a two that straight line here is a two and then ef here is a seven uh let's do it again oops come on so this one here is a seven uh, this length is a 5 and finally we are to find BE um, before I label let me do one thing uh, let me go ahead and draw two additional lines I want to draw BF and a CF and you might even consider drawing AF as well because somehow I want to relate F to the rest of the picture uh, but what I will do next is uh, just to label the 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 segment so I'll I'll go ahead and uh, also label this point here as uh, say u and the le the segments now uh, let's so bu let's call it as x ud as y and de is z finally fu is uh, a t and uc is a v okay um yeah so that's pretty much what i have in mind and finally the question is asking for be so BE would be just X plus Y plus Z. So BE equals uh, question mark. That's just X plus Y plus Z. There is two equivalent ways to solve this problem. You can either use a power of a point appro approach. So in that case, power of point U. And you can apply twice. Namely, a U times UD is equal to FU times UC. But it so happens that uh, FU times UC, because U is on the... Uh, on the radical axis of these two circles is also equal to BU times uh, UE. And uh, so that's one approach to follow. Or alternatively, you can just follow uh, similar triangles. I'll go ahead and use the second approach. And for that, uh, I'll go ahead and do a little bit angle chasing because I go further. So let's go ahead and chase some angles. Let's call this angle as alpha. This one is a beta. And this one, instead of gamma, I'll use the angle theta here. Uh, I think it's clear that uh, this angle, the exterior angle here is alpha plus theta. And um, let's see. Oh, this angle here is definitely alpha because they subtend arc, arc CD as long, uh, with that one. And this external angle, like I said, uh, alpha plus theta is also the same because uh, the same with UFE because UFE is CFE and it subtends the same arc here with uh, with this one with um, so therefore this one is theta plus alpha so this angle here is a theta do you guys see that so uh, UBC and UFE are uh, similar uh, angles congruent angles I should say but then uh, after I'm done oh well uh, one more thing so if you call this angle as phi this one is also phi because they both subtend minor arc FB okay first of all this letter B is in a very bad position so let's put it right here 
Okay, um, well, the, the, then it remains to establish uh, some similar triangles. Obviously, we have vertical angles here as well. So basically, we have the following set of triangles which are similar. So if you start with the first circle on top, uh, we can say that, uh, say, for instance, a triangle FUD, FUD is uh, similar to triangle uh, F U D A U C I would say A U C and by the same uh, reasoning uh, we can also say for instance a triangle F U E F U E let's write that down triangle F U E is similar to triangle uh, uh, B U C I think B U C. Now we can go ahead and chase, uh, make some length measurements. So uh, F U to A U. F U was a T, so therefore T to uh, A U is uh, four plus X is simply equal to F D times F D to A C. F D is two. To A C is is just a six. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice ratio, one third there. Uh, finally, UD to UC. Uh, UD is a Y, and UC is is a V. Okay, so from here we can get a couple of good results. For instance, if you look at the second and the third components, that would give give us V is equal to three Y, and and if you look at the first and the second ratios, which are supposed to be equal to each other, so we get six T is equal to uh, 8 plus 2x, uh, which implies x itself after dividing by 2, uh, 3t minus 4. I'll, I'll come back to this later on, so I'll make use of it later. This one is also pretty nice. All right, so now the second one, fu to bu. fu is a t, so therefore uh, bu is, uh, is just an x, t to x is equal to, well, actually, uh, we didn't even have to write x, right? So we could have replaced from here. So let's just go ahead and do that. t to x, but x is just 3t minus 4, uh, is equal to fe to bc. fe is just a 7, and bc is just a 5. Oh, that's nice again. And finally, ue to uc. ue is y plus z, y plus z, and a uc is just a v but we said earlier that v is just 3y so let's just write it as 3y okay so pretty neat uh, so well uh, first of all using these two we can easily compute the value of t so 5 uh, t is equal to 21 t minus 28 suggesting that uh, 16 t is equal to 28 dividing by 4 uh, 7 over 4, not 4 over 7, 7 over 4. So we are done with t, pretty neat. And because we know t, we can easily compute x as well. Let's go back here. So 3 times 7 over 4 minus 4. So therefore, x is just 21 minus 16, so 5 over 4. And so that's pretty neat because that also gives us the first part here. So 5 over 4 plus. Now we need y and z. We can go ahead and make use of this expression for that. So that would give us 21y is equal to 5y plus 5z. So which means uh, 16y is equal to 5z. Uh, well, uh, we can't go further with this one only. Uh, so we need to find one more relationship. And the main idea is because we know the side lengths, uh, in uh, well, actually, let's color it with this one. We know all side lengths on this triangle ABC that that was given to us four five six triangle. We just notice that uh, there's another triangle which we know quite a bit actually. Uh, let's use um, which color should I highlight with? Oh yeah, orange. Look at this triangle FED. We pretty much know a almost every everything, right? So we know the two, the seven, the side lengths. The only z is missing, but look at the angle opposite z. It's a theta. Theta was the angle c. Aha! So basically, uh, actually, let's go ahead and I no longer need this part of that circle. It's pretty confusing. I can go ahead and uh, 
Now do some uh, algebra. Uh, some uh, so we can go ahead and calculate cosine c by using the law of cosine on a triangle ABC. And if we do so, so four square uh, equals uh, five square plus six square minus two times five times six uh, times cosine of uh, theta. Theta, I would say. And so from here, that would give us. 25, 36, 61 minus 16 is, is it 35? Uh, so uh, what, what am I doing? Uh, 25 plus 20, let's say 45, yes. So therefore cosine of angle theta is equal to 35, uh, 20, 45, 45, not 35. 45 divided by uh, t um, 2 times, um, no, 5 times 12, let's say. All right, let's just leave it like this. So that would just give us 9 over uh, 2 times 6. We can further divide by 3. So 3 over um, three over 4. Aha! Now we can go ahead and substitute this value in the law of cosine on triangle DEF. So let's do it one more time. Law of cosine on uh, triangle DEF. Uh, would tell us that uh, z squared equals 2 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 2 times 7 times 3 fourths. The 4 and the 2's cancel. So we are left with uh, 4 plus 49 minus uh, 21, which is just 53, 33. Wait. No. Uh, 32. 53 minus 21 is 32. So suggesting that uh, z itself is 4 root 2. Aha! So, but plugging into here, we know that 16y is equal to 5 times 4 root 2. Uh, so the 16 and the 4 will cancel. I would have a 4 left here. So y itself would be 5 over 4 root 2. Aha! So 4 root 2, 5 over 4 root 2. And finally, uh, plugging them in. So uh, y is equal to 5 over 4 root 2. 5 over 4 root 2 plus z itself was 4 root 2. 4 root 2. So that's simply uh, equal to, keeping in mind the desired expression is like this. So we'll find a common denominator anyways. So this will be just 16 over 4 root 2. So 16 plus 5 is 21. So finally, we get 5 plus 21 root 2 all divided by uh, 4 for uh, EB and so now given that format so the question is asking for 5 plus 21 which is 26 plus 228 32 I would say is the uh, answer uh, to this uh, geometry problem like I said earlier an alternative approach would have been to use power of point u and noticing that u is on the uh, line fc which is the radical axis so uh, we could have found pretty much the same idea uh, uh, with these uh, two similar triangles would have come out of the power of a point as well but the key move was to recognize that these two uh, triangles uh, this triangle here abc and this triangle here def they share a common angle and then noticing that we can use law of cosine to uh, to, 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 to get one of the desired edges of triangle DEF. And, uh, and we're done with this problem.